poems for you. Um, one in Shetland and one in English. I also write quite a lot in English, but uh, overdosed a little, a little bit. I've indulged myself tonight, I think. Um, this one is called That Trickster's Son, and Grigori translates it this one. Uh, it is his little sonnet, and he put it into, uh, uh, again, a Shakespearean sonnet. And I, I, I think what he did there was to try and get the mood of the poem, and he didn't worry quite so much about the meaning. It's interesting how, as poets, we have different feelings about which is the important thing. Um, so that was fine, I didn't mind at all. We were actually all quite relaxed, I think, with one another as to, to what, was, what, was, what, was, what was allowable. You know. um, the poem is really about uh, just being con getting confused as I get older, I suppose. Um, it's partly a love poem, but it's also about just the confusions of light. The sun playing on the window pane, and you see wonderful worlds, and you, you, you could almost touch them and almost map them. And, um, and the, the wonderful double rainbow, I don't know if you, you get a lot of them here, one rainbow inside another one, and if you look at the, them carefully, you see that the colours are in the opposite direction on the inside one. And when you think about it, it's just drops of rain, that's all it is, and yet it's this magical kind of thing and they're, they're locked together like as if they were tethered and you can when you as you drive along they seem to move with you all these sort of magical things and they're just drops of water after rain you know it's a, always never one ever ceases to amaze me i suppose but it's also about that kind of holy moment when you just feel overcome um Anyway, I shall read it for you. That trickster son, e day he fills your window with shapes of land that you could map your end. Islands beyond islands, dreamscapes you could ah but map. A refrain a light through a pane of glass. Incongruities. Ties and places you'll never win to. You're stuck in the here and now. They're utter wreck. They slick infinity. E day, we tell the rainbow, deep into the netherin, cring the ring with you. You could ah, but lay a hand upon them. Light through silence, a holy hobble skew, the full spectrum of teardrops, a slow air. To turn you inside out, the brack a heart. Перевод Григория Кружкова. Плутник солнца. В один прекрасный день оно наполнит окно сиянием солнечных миражей, далеких островов, морских пейзажей, воздушных замков и волшебных комнат, причудливые отблески и пятна на стеклах, отражение снов прекрасных, влекущих душу вдаль, но вы, к несчастью, здесь и сейчас увязли безвозвратно. В один прекрасный день оно удвоит и опрокинет радугу зеркально, так близко протянуть лишь руку стоит, аккорд органный, дальний звон хрустальный, Разложит в целый спектр одну слезинку, и жизнь перевернет вам под сурдинку. What's in a name? And I wrote it. A lot of my friends, as they get older, have started to have memory problems, and this is me addressing my son, making him think of the future, and. Um, just to tell you two words, Sullivan is a beautiful, beautiful mountain in northwest Scotland. Uh, it's a sugarloaf mountain, like the one you saw watching the Olympics. Um, and the word loch is the Scots word for um, a little lake, loch. What's in a name? If and when I have mislaid my name and stare at you disconcertingly, let me spend a day parked by Sullivan, 
perplexed by broken water. Turn my calendar to the mountain season and set my watch by shadows on the loch. Forgive me if I lose the reason that we came or my gaze clouds in a codfish kind of way. Or if the name I chose for you eludes me, I still sense mountain, water, love. А теперь это снова я. И ясно, да, стихотворение это я выбрал, ну, а по каким-то, конечно, личным причинам, да, потому что я представляю себе, наверное, что должна чувствовать мать, обращаясь к сыну. Когда я приехал с первого дня семинара, как раз решил навестить родителей. Моя мама спросила меня, о чем пишет, например, тот поэт, с которым я сегодня работал. Я ей пересказал, она сказала, какое хорошее стихотворение. То есть, да, это что-то, видимо, действительно уловленное в этом одновременном самоотречении, уверении в том, что все в любом случае останется на своих местах, ну, не говоря уже о том, что э, заглавие «Что в имени?» да, сразу отсылает нас к совершенно родным контекстам, например, к э, одному из лучших стихотворений Пушкина. Итак, «Что в моем имени?» Если я не смогу его отыскать, стану смотреть на тебя, как впервые. Отвези меня к Суильвину где озерная рябь приведет меня в недоумение. Разверни мой календарь на горном времени года. Заведи часы по теням на воде. Прости, если я забуду, зачем мы здесь, или глаза остекленеют точно у рыбы, или я потеряю имя, что выбрала для тебя. Я все равно буду чувствовать, Гору, воду, любовь. 